Welcome back. Let's play some more games, shall we? It's addictive, but it can be fun too. Good luck. All right, our opponent has committed very heavily to this opening strategy. Um, oh, okay. I see what they're up to now. Silly me. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to defend my bishop's head this way. Um, but yeah, here we've got a unique strategy that we're playing against. So I protect this. And we're going to have to fight somehow. Mm -hmm. Let's get my king out of this danger. Yep, our opponent plays the duck. What does one do against the duck? Well, hopefully we can figure it out. Mm -hmm. Maybe I've overplayed by putting my king so far out here. I don't know. Okay, this is... this is something. Yeah. I still don't think I've overplayed. At least not yet. Um, we've got a unique position that much, sir. So there's half Bino. Um... That's the smallest castle we can build, and still call it a castle, at least in my opinion here. So I'm considering the center pawn push and then this edge pawn push, which in combination look a bit risky, to say the least. But um, it might work out. I'm also debating, do I bring the silver over toward this bishop? to fight it off. Um, it seems I won't have to do that. <laughs> wow, this is an interesting opening that we're both playing. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be an experience. Uh, hmm. So my bishop is still blocked. And sure, that's a bit concerning. Um... This is ugly and sad, but it works. It's either that or my gold and rook are tripping over each other. Um, but yeah, this is a super heavy move. That does well defending against an attack on the left side of the board. Um... Meanwhile, our opponent has extended heavily. I don't know. They've avoided this center king move for whatever reason. Uh, either they just don't believe it's necessary, or they just aren't doing it for... I don't know why. They're waiting for me to do something, I guess. Um... Uh, but yeah, I don't see how they attack, and I don't see how I attack either. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Now this is how they attack. It's they force my silver to advance or retreat in a position where it can't advance. That's a plan. Yeah, I guess if I'd been one step ahead on things, I would have seen that coming. Um, all right. Oh, I don't want to give this up by retreating my rook. Even though I just considered that a second ago. Truthfully, it wouldn't be terrible to lose that pawn. Um... Hmm. So they're going to push the... Or it looks like they could push this. Uh, it'd be an overplay at this stage, I think, to push it so early. But they're preparing it. Um, but that would conflict with a potential idea to advance the knight. Um, Normally you retreat the bishop back here, but I'm not desiring a bishop exchange in this shape for whatever reason. Instead, I want to catch this work off sides. Interesting. All right. You got the duck. I've got this. Or this is called the duck leg strategy because the king is wedged between two castles. And we see my opponent slowly bringing these halves of castles up the board. Um, but. Uh, there is one downside to it. It's a bit hard to hold on to everything. My rook is, well, it's protecting this pawn, but it's a bit exposed here. But it's fine. Um, I'll take the pawn. It's so greedy, but why not? All right, let's prepare to see some tactics here. Go Fun. Hmm. If they drop a silver here, I can advance on their rook. They take my rook, I take their rook. It's sharp. Um, but what isn't?
So they've pincered their own silver. It's unable to retreat. Uh, it's just verifying that my overlay looks fine. If the rook moves over, my not rook moves over to defend this, and I consider trying to. All right, never mind. Um, there is room for a rook drop behind their position. Yeah, that's. I'm not seeing any other avenue into this position. So something like this must be reasonable. Alternatively, maybe I could try to trap the silver. No, this trap doesn't... Well, maybe. If they drop a rook to try to stop my attack, then maybe we exchange and I drop it here instead. Um, the silver retreats, I push this pawn. The silver has nowhere further to retreat. But yeah, this is not my... I mean, I'm threatening a lance. Okay, fine. My opponent shuts down our attack. Plan B it is, then. Um, threatening this knight. Threatening this silver. It's so difficult to make forward progress here. All right, show me what I've missed. Uh, the silver could retreat back here. That's what I've missed. Hmm. This game is complicated. This game is so complicated. Fine. I'll try this to ensnare it. I'll see how far I get with that. I can't retreat backwards either direction. I have its entire head covered, so... Oh, I forgot my alarm clock. I'll have to take care of that in just a second. Yeah, so the, uh, their rook drop threatens to push here. It's going to take another piece of mine to stop that silver from advancing, so maybe I bring my gold out? I'm not sure. <sighs> I don't think... No. It's too sharp. Well, if I bring this out... Pawn drop. Mm, it's a mess. It's a total mess. Um, mm. All right, so I don't want to split my castle to win this silver, but I don't see any other way. Oh wait, pawn drop, silver takes, pawn drop hitting the rook, then they take my bishop, I take this rook, they take my gold. That still doesn't work. Um, I've got this protected. So, yeah, I can surround this, right? Let's see. I'll be right back. All right. 
if they drop where I want to drop. It's a bit inconvenient for me. I don't know how to pursue my attack further here. Um, I'm thinking. <sighs> this isn't perfect, but like, I'm confused. Yeah, obviously, if they, t well, if they take it, my fork here might not even be that good. Um, I probably should have pursued the king here, because they can drop a pawn. They can drop their final pawn in front of my rook. And I don't have an attack. Alright, so I activate my Rook, and finally I've got something going here. Um, hmm. We hit this Rook. keep hitting. Maybe that was a terrible place for this. Alright, they really wanted this bishop. They got it. I got a rook. Maybe they were right. Maybe I shouldn't have allowed that. Um, I don't know. I'm in just a bit of a tizzy here over what a mess this position is. Okay, I'm threatening to pick off the silver next. Hmm, that's a pin. Ippun. We try to convince the silver to retreat. It doesn't. We try again to convince the silver to retreat. It's retreating this time. It's not. We take the silver. Oh gosh, that hangs it like multiple different ways. Um, we didn't plan on this, but it's not terrible. It'd be good to plan things out in the future, rather than just randomly playing into stuff. Um, wait, they have two silvers. I need to learn to count. Thanks for the game. Well played. Alright. I need to be more patient. Um... But we play this for fun. In a slow game, the bishop has the leading role. That was a slow game. Thanks for the game and good luck. Alright.
Do they just play this against everything? I wonder. I'm mildly curious. I used to play similar openings against about everything. But you can only get away with that so much. Interesting. That's a proposal. Um, I don't have to take that. It's a free silver. But you just know it's a trap somehow. Um, like, I've been here before. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to fall into the trap, because I think it's fine. I haven't decided here, am I taking the gold, or am I dropping my bishop? I think both are fine. Um... We're going to exchange the rook for the bishop. Um, I thought there was a next move here. All right, I defend my bishop. For them to defend this knight, they'd either have to move this gold away from their king. Okay. Um, they do that. Oh, fuck. I missed that. Well. Alright, back to square one, I suppose. Um. Hmm. I mean, my Not position... Enough. There's nothing fundamentally flawed about this. It's just unpleasant. So I've defended against this rook drop, and next I'm trying to push on the knight's head. That's an interesting idea. Are they giving the rook back? They might be. Um... Well, we've got a topsy-turvy position on our hands. Um, 
So I could retreat this. I could retreat that. No, we're retreating this one. Um, That's a bold move to make with your king up here. Gofun. Oh wait, this is... no. Hmm. I'm trying to find tactical shots and not finding any. Alright, we're gonna do this and hope it doesn't backfire. There's too much to figure out and not enough time to figure it out in. Hmm. That's me just doing a random check. Or is it? Probably. Um. They can't break my pen. Alright, we continue piling on the pinned piece. I thought I had something for that. Oh, yeah, okay. Something. We continue piling on. I'd be surprised if they don't exchange their dragon for this bishop. Because it's uncomfortable having this many attackers close to your king. But they might not. They might be okay with this. Yeah. All right, so I get a dragon. I might win another rook here. Oh, they could take this with their rook. I didn't see that. Hmm. 
check. Check again. Not check. All right. Two minutes and thirty seconds. Wait, that doesn't mate. Actually, it does. Never mind. If the king retreats, the dragon here is mate. If the king moves over, the dragon takes pawn as mate. Thanks for the. Game. All right, two down, one to go. Indeed, welcome. Good luck. Our opponents won five games in a row. Um, makes me just a little bit anxious. Okay. That is a legal move. Yeah, it's fine. Let's close this diagonal. What the fuck is that? Apparently this is the new way to get the fourth file rook position uh, these days, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, they've not resisted my rook, so let's try to promote it. Yep, they build Elmo Castle. It's fine. Oh, maybe I should push this before this bishop comes over. Um, okay, I didn't think they would do that. Here. Yeah, maybe I should have brought the silver up. It's probably what I should have done. So fuck. This is a mess. Um All right, here we go.
Wait a second. I control this other diagonal if they take this pawn with the silver. So silver takes us out. Because then I drop my bishop. Well, then they drop a pawn. I mean, sure, this cuts the string to their silver, but yeah. They're not just going to let me win this lance for nothing. Um... Now, if I drop the pawn here first, silver takes and then do that. Then we've got some tactics cooking. Um, Nana uh, fumi. Such a trap isn't going to work. Oh, plus this is hanging the whole time. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I've I've cooked this. All right, this is still... I'm not going to find a better place for my bishop. So there it goes. They're going to have to block this, and it's going to cut their rook off of this file. Okay, that's not what I expected. Um, this accelerates my attack. Um, Gofun. I hate parting with my pawns. I really do. I don't know about this. I've dropped the only pawn I had in hand. I've managed to do it without cutting off my own bishop. So... That's some kind of a victory. Um, man, this is like... When do I play this passively? When do I, 
when do I play a proper defense, I guess? Um, so this is me just submitting to whatever they're about to throw at me. Saying, yes, okay, it's your turn to attack. Like, when do I just... That's not characteristic of me. Normally I'm the one attacking, because aggression pays off frequently. Um, but here, my best way to be aggressive was to play this defensive stuff. And try to unwind this unholy mess of stuff that we've lined up. So, finally I have a tempo to get my rook out. Mm -hmm. I got impatient. I thought this won material. This does not win material, because they can retreat. But they won't. But they could. Alright, fine. We'll do it your way. It's like I'm willing to take any exchange, as long as I get something. Um, that's such... I don't know. So this... Threatens to take the square right in front of the bishop. Also, it hits the rook directly. If the rook moves up, then I can hit the rook again. Right, so I take this rook, they take my rook. They don't. Something. Okay. I try to defend this position. They could take my lance. I could promote right next to this silver. Mm hmm. Well, I'll try to hold on to this position a bit longer then. How many tempi is a rook worth, anyhow? It's worth some number of tempi, I just don't know how many. Um, I guess they have a bishop drop in 5-5 five, five, that we've both been ignoring. I've been ignoring it because it's inconvenient for me, if I'm going to be honest. Um, inconvenient in the sense that I can't find a damn thing to do about it. Okay, can't find a thing to do about that either. I mean, they've blocked their bishop, so that's some kind of minor victory for me. Alright, into the corner I go.
what is this? How is this my game of shogi? Um, um, All right, so five five square now no longer threatens this right next to my king. At least not this instant. This gold is so far away. Maybe a silver drop there would have been a better defensive try. If I were trying to play defense. Hmm. Shit. That's hard to defend against. We'll try to make it complicated. I don't know that I'm going to succeed in that endeavor. Um, Alright, I'll take your bishop. Such caveman shogi. Just take all the things. That's a re reference to caveman chess. Same concept. <sighs> but yeah, my I still have no attack here. Um Mm, this isn't good enough. Sanjibio. They moved their knight. They shouldn't have done that. Why are my opponents the ones making blunders in time pressure? I don't get it. I'm the one in time pressure, not them.
Thanks for the game. Oh. Alright, well played. That's three games. That, um, we can't play anymore today, because that's how this website works. At least on this site, we're, we're game capped. So, hopefully that was entertaining. I'll have to go review the games next. Um, hope we enjoyed these games together.